In this video, I will identify the muscles that move the pedal region and list the origin, insertion, and action of the major muscles. We'll start going through the muscles that move the pedal region, focusing on the anterior curl region. We can see tibialis anterior is located just lateral to the anterior crest of the tibia and the action of tibialis anterior is dorsiflexion of the talocrural joint so talocrural joint is commonly referred to as the ankle joint and tibialis anterior performs dorsiflexion at the talocrural or ankle joint fibularis longus is a muscle located on the lateral aspect of the curl region and is superficial. The action of fibularis longus includes plantar flexion of the talocrural joint as well as eversion of the talocrural joint. Extensor digitorum longus is located just lateral to tibialis anterior and the action of extensor digitorum longus is in its name it extends the pedal digits now, fibularis brevis is a slightly shorter muscle located adjacent to fibularis longus just anterior to fibularis longus and fibularis brevis also performs the actions of plantar flexion and eversion of the talocrural joint. Deep to tibialis anterior and extensor digitorum longus is the extensor hallucis longus, another muscle that's named after its action. Extensor hallucis longus extends the hallux, extends the great toe, the, the first pedal digit. So the origin of tibialis anterior is the lateral condyle of the tibia. Then the insertion of tibialis anterior is the first metatarsal. The action of tibialis anterior is to dorsiflex the talocrural joint. The origin of extensor digitorum longus is also from the lateral condyle of the tibia. The insertion of extensor digitorum longus is onto the phalanges two through five and the action is to extend the pedal digits. Now here with a posterior view, we can see the most superficial muscle in the sural region has been cut to allow us a view of the deeper muscles. So gastrocnemius is the most superficial muscle that gives the shape to the sural region. You can see the gastrocnemius has both a lateral head and a medial head. The lateral head has its origin from the lateral condyle of the femur, and the medial head has its origin from the medial condyle of the femur. Deep to gastrocnemius, we see here plantaris and deep to plantaris, which is a very slender muscle, we see soleus, a very broad, flat muscle. And so the gastrocnemius, plantaris, and soleus all have a common action and insertion. So the action is plantar flexion of the talocrural joint, and the insertion is onto the calcaneus via 
the calcaneal tendon, commonly referred to as the Achilles tendon. Now we can see deep to the soleus are several muscles. There's tibialis posterior, another muscle that performs plantar flexion. And then we can see flexor digitorum longus, which is located on the medial side in the deep group of muscles, deep to the soleus. And flexor hallucis longus, which is located on the lateral side of this deep muscle group. And so there's three muscles found deep to the soleus. Tibialis posterior is right along the midline on the posterior of the tibia. Flexor digitorum longus is on the medial side and flexor hallucis longus is on the lateral side. Now, the names flexor digitorum longus and flexor hallucis longus are telling us the actions to flex the pedal digits and flex the hollux. However, you might find it surprising that flexor hallucis longus is more lateral than flexor digitorum longus, considering the hollux is the most medial of the pedal digits. So the tendons of flexor hallucis longus and flexor digitorum longus cross in the plantar region on their ways to the insertions. The origin of gastrocnemius is the femoral condyles. The inner or medial head has its origin from the medial femoral condyle and the outer or lateral head has its origin from the lateral femoral condyle. The insertion of gastrocnemius is the calcaneus and the action is plantar flexion of the talocrural joint. The origin of soleus is the posterior diaphysis of the tibia and fibula and it sh shares an insertion with gastrocnemius onto the calcaneus to perform the action of plantar flexion at the talocrural joint. The origin of flexor digitorum longus is the posterior diaphysis of the tibia and the insertion of flexor digitorum longus is the phalanges of digits two through five to perform the action of flexion of the pedal digits two through five.